My name is Teresa Lockwood. I reside in Violin, New Jersey. And um, I'm actually redoing a video. I thought I could recover a video or whatever to review it. And I, I'm tired. <laughs> so um, I deleted a video that I did on a violin police officer, Lieutenant Landy in Eternal Affairs. And uh, like I said in the other video, under the so-called Professional Standards Unit. Um, and the thing is, is that, um, there's going to be several vid videos that I have to do. The thing is, I had to delete my video because it was hacked, um, and spliced. And, um, so I'm going to try to put the things that was in my other video in here. Um, I don't, I can't remember what I put in there, what I didn't. I basically, it was a little choppy. Um, and I was listing things, you know, uh, to make certain points of things that happened. So, um, <clears throat> um, I did call him to tell him I did a video about him, um, and what he was doing to me. So he was gaslighting me, um, and playing head games with me. Um, the motive is irrelevant because either way he was lying to me, manipulating things or whatever. Um, so the action is a crime, um, and basically, um, they're just copying abuses of other people that, um, I've done, and this is a thing that's been happening for many years, and, um, so, um, I don't know where to start, um, he basically started with uh, hanging up on me, which I believe he is told. Obviously, he was lied to about a lot of things about me to ignore me or whatever um, because he was echoing a lot of people um, who basically obstructed justice, other eternal affairs unit um, who were told to actually refuse me to make reports by their former chief, uh, not in this... Um, I don't know what the word to look for this time frame. It was under Chief Rudy Bue, um, who put, who was deliberately putting corrupt officers, um, in eternal affairs, um, to, um, to obstruct justice and refuse people's rights and refuse people reporting, um, information and then, well, lying about us, which, which every internal affairs, um, um, person that I've encountered throughout the years have, have done this. Um, so the thing is, is that, um, the first time I called, uh, it was officer Landy. Um, he hung up on me. Um, a number of times he has hung up on me and he basically denied hanging up on me. Okay. Um, and try to say I hung up on him, which is not true. Okay. So, well, no, I have left a message and hung up, or whatever, but, um, they actually reflected this throughout the department, who is lying and falsely accusing me, they sit there and present other false witnesses as they're hanging up on me, um, and falsely accusing me of hanging up, and I've never called the police department and just hung up and never done that, um, so, uh, many, many officers throughout the years have basically just hung up on me, um, when I've called. Um, so a lot of them I have reported and, uh, like, I, it's reflected, um, under Lieutenant Landy, the, they did not take reports, okay? The thing is, is, um, Lieutenant Landy, um, Christopher Landy, um, specifically, uh, told me that he's not taking my reports. He's, he's reflecting and copying the claims in, in, uh, 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 in a cookie cutter sense of other, um, internal affairs, um, officers doing the same thing and saying the same thing. He's saying the exact same words. Okay. Like for instance, in the past, um, I made a complaint, a legitimate complaint. My all my complaints are legitimate, but they're lying about me, claiming that my complaint is not legitimate, um, to refuse to take the complaint. Okay, um, so um, 
I've had made many complaints. The thing is, the Vana Police Department has used officers and chaplains and other people um, using businesses um, to harass, target me, slander me, um, to make a false report against me, and refusing me to make a report. Okay, um, for that being done, and officers using me or what, uh, to harass me or whatever. <clears throat> so the thing is, is that. Um, Lieutenant Landy, um, I've actually cussed out Lieutenant Landy, uh, well, many times that it, well, and when I mention the word, I cussed him out, but many times I say cussed out or whatever, I don't actually use cuss words. Um, I have, as I have <laughs> done actually a number of times with other officers where I sit there and cuss people out in a way where I basically use like the sort of sharp truth very piercing or whatever against all their evil vile whatever being descriptive of um how evil they are um i forget to cuss and i'll call back and i'm like oh i forgot to cuss you out so and i will cuss them out <laughs> i've done that with lieutenant landy um so and i'll say bleep 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 or whatever so um the thing is is that um Yes, I did sit there, and um, there was a conversation where um, I called him a, a rapist, and um, I told him he lies like a child molester, or pedophile, I'm sorry, well, you know, give or take, same thing, um, and he tried to pervert my words and sit there, and like, he, and I basically, I, he basically said, um, you called me a pedophile, I'm like, no, I did not call you a pedophile, I said, you lie like a pedophile. So, and, um, because I told him, you know, I don't bear false witness against people. And he's like, oh, but you call, you call me a rapist. I'm like, you are. <laughs> and, um, the thing is, is that, um, I just, not too long ago, and I actually let him know that, that I actually, um, uh, posted a video in comments on their Vana Police the page and said it was to, um, uh, Lieutenant Landy <clears throat> and um, and all you other officers and I told them to stay away from their children or whatever and they're mind rapers so uh, yeah I will call them a mind raper if they're mind raping my good conscience and it's basically psychological torture and abuse okay falsely accusing me refusing and violating my rights okay and um so, the thing is, is, I don't know where to rest my arm. My table's too far over. I can't slide it over. I usually rest my arm either on this pillow or a, a, a side um, little desk table I have. It's actually my laptop desk, but portable. And uh, I use it to put my water and tea and whatever on it. But, um, anyway, what's in there? I should unplug this. Oops. I think I just, I'm having complications here. I don't know why this just went dark. Oh, gosh. I hope I am not hacked again. Like, seriously. This happens every time. Um, this has happened exactly last time when I got hacked. Um, my video went dark, so I hope that's not the issue. Maybe it's my computer. Um, I don't know. I hope so. <laughs> so, um, anyway, the thing is, is that, um, yeah, I told, um, yeah, what I'm going to put in the video. So, the thing is, is, okay, first of all, I, I had a discussion after my video made, and I told him I had a video, and this was, <laughs> I don't know if that was just, like, this, well, this morning would be, like, I think it's in the middle of the night on time it is. Oh, it's early in the morning. Yesterday. <laughs> so, um, yesterday I told him in the morning. I did tell him, I, or afternoon, whatever. I, I told him I did a, a video about him and what I basically put in it. Um, and I said, well, I was just like, you know, I said, <laughs> if you want to, you can sit there, use whatever you want against me. Apparently it was hacked, though. Um, it basically said, it basically has me saying that police, um, hired police, uh, to persecute me. It's not what I said. Now, like I said, I can use the wrong word or whatever, but I viewed it and I remember it. Um, so, um, I basically, excuse me, 
I basically, um, said, um, police hired chaplains. Now, that was one of the disputes that we got into. He said he's not, re he's not taking any reports of, um, the chaplains or whatever, which I was reporting police using chaplains, uh, to harass me, okay? And he still refuses to take the replaint or what we have, and says, oh, they have nothing to do with the chaplains or whatever, and say, oh, well, they're not, we didn't hire them or whatever, they're not employed by, uh, the police department, and I had to argue with him and all this, I was just like, they were sworn in to your, uh, police department, and he also said that they have no chaplains, which is basically head games, you're sitting there echoing my words that I rightfully said, because I basically said, um, Vana Police does not have internal affairs, which they actually try to use that to, um, manipulate and do that in a prior, um, incident. Well, I can't get into that right now because I'm going to get into a whole other story. So I have, I'm limited for time. So the thing is, is that, um, so they're like, oh, we, ha we don't, now reflecting, he echoes other people and what people tell him, um, and there's a lot of people who slander me throughout the Vinyl Police Department, trying to make sure that nobody hears me. Um, and they've been doing this for years. Um, so, the thing is, is this actually started, well, actually it started since I was a child, because I grew up in an abusive cult church, um, to make sure nobody heard me while they were molesting children. And this is, anytime they use these manipulative, deceptive um, tactics... Uh, corrupt tactics. They're not police tactics, by the way. They're cult abuse tactics. Um, um, if they use these principles that basically silences the victim, I am going to call them, basically, um, tell them they're going to lie like a child molester. I am going to sit there and compare them to a rapist, child rapist, child molester. I'm going to do that. Um, and I've been doing that for years. Um, when it started... Um, it started after I basically encountered an abusive cult, Nazarene Church, Violent First, it was called, formerly called Violent First Church of the Nazarene, now calling themselves Freemans Church. Um, and I left that church, like, severely traumatized. They destroyed my children, by the way, because I did not believe what they, their, in their false beliefs, okay? So, um, who they called their false beliefs of God and falsely slandering me claiming that I basically am doubting God and called me Doubting Thomas. And the thing is, all I did was, at that time, quote, Scripture rightfully in context um, against their false beliefs. So, um, the thing is, they're using these Scriptures that I actually used against them then. And that was around 20 years ago, around 2000, 2001, 2002. And, um... And a, by a false minister, Sam Piero, um, who slandered me. He even slandered me sitting there saying I used to be a prostitute. Sit there telling people not to listen to me. Tell me I, I used to be Catholic. Um, and that my doctor's a Catholic. And all I did was write, read scripture. Kindly in class when I basically was, um, when it was my turn to give a view as they went around the class or whatever. And because I basically did not believe that God died on the cross, I believe that Jesus died on the cross, and I basically said that. I said nobody could kill God. Um, Jesus died on the cross. Um, God did not die on the cross, and Jesus gave up his spirit to the uh, Father who was in heaven. So, um, they're using the scripture now, uh, just not too long ago, where... Um, by the false minister that who later came in, false pastor William Clay, um, who actually even used a forged false Bible that is just as false as their false doctrines, and um, 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 using these this false claim that claims that Jesus is God, except that calls God. And Jesus, Jehovah, God's, or Jesus' name is not Jehovah, and God's name is not, um, in term of use, Jesus. Now, yes, in meaning, God is the deliverer, okay? Jesus' name means deliverer, and God sent 
Jesus as a deliverer, okay? To call people into repentance, to uh, bring people um, back into the spirit of the will of God, or whatever, so. Um, and to bear witness to the truth. So the thing is, is that, um, how do I say this? Um, so they used the scripture and deliberately jumped to the scripture and told people to pay attention that, that my, my persecutor, false pastor William Clay, sat there and had people, um, read from scripture when people didn't even know what's in the Bible. They did not know these passages were in the Bible. Um, I uniquely selected it, these verses through researching the whole Bible and breaking it down. Um, and so it is my um, in context scripture that I've used and did a lot of work on. Uh, which I use online uh, for many years, and it says, go tell my brethren, I go to my God and your God, to my Father and your Father. The main verse that I've written, oh, typed, posted, pasted so many times um, to um, against Muslims and the false church and false Christians, okay? to teach what it says and give a view to who God is to Jesus, who Jesus is to God, okay, and, um, and who Jesus is to us, okay, and they're actually recently, uh, Frank Apollo is recently going over and actually quoted a verse that was like San Pierre where he tried to, he actually cut off the first part and then tried to convince me that the passage says that Jesus is God, and then uses, um, um, which was first on my San Pierre, I did it the same way, um, and basically said, you are the vine, and I mean, uh, Jesus said, I am the vine, you are the branches, and the violent police ch uh, chaplain, Frank Apollo, who, mind you, was hired because he was persecuting me, bullying me and teaching false doctrines that silenced um, victims of cultal, cult sexual abuse um, um, and silencing victims and where the former chief caught his body deliberately used them knowingly to, because I was speaking against their cult abuse and brainwashing and perverting scripture, um, who randomly did not read scripture, they were basically just throwing it in there amongst their false opinions, um, and claiming that, um, that you are the vine, and, I mean, I am the, from Jesus' perspective teaching, saying that he is the vine and you are the branches, and reflecting Jesus is the vine dresser. After I corrected that, uh, Frank Apollo and on the police page, Frank Apollo runs behind his pulpit and basically uses the verse where I basically used to correct both of them um, from all the way back from San Piero, uh, false minister San Piero of Vaughan, which it wound up attending his church of Calvary Chapel, but formerly in uh, Raymond's Church, Vaughan First Church of Nazarene, where I read in class. But it says, um, you know, I just say, like, well, and I try to teach them kindly, you know, you got to read it in full context where it says, um, my father is the vine dresser and you are, um, I am the vine and you are the branches. Okay. And, um, so he basically tried to copy that in that sense, even though he used it the same way San Piero did to falsely try to present that Jesus is God when it does not say. And that passage is used to make a distinction between um, who Jesus is to God. And so they use the word pruner to basically talk to abuse me in one of his videos. Um, and basically, um, attacking me and attacking what is sacred and attacking Jesus. Okay. And to sit there, claim I'm being cut off and compare me to a deadhead in his false metaphors. And they were attacking and speaking against metaphors, by the way. And 
the thing is, I was attacked first by, with that in the Violent First Church of the Nazarene as I was told not to use the word like or whatever um, in my comparable expression, metaphorical comparable expression or whatever. And I confronted the false minister, Lee King, and said, well, metaphor, Jesus uses a metaphor um, um, as and like or whatever, like um, faith is uh, like a mustard seed. And so, I mean, that was even in a book that he basically never rightly even taught and taught everything that was, well, not scriptural <laughs> and outside of the, the Bible. And he basically was making up all these things. And I'm using passages within the book that he claims to know uh, and teach and basically um, could as scripture to him or what have you. Oh, I didn't want to get into that. I forgot I was doing the video about Lieutenant Landy. <laughs> so, um, uh, um, anyway, the thing is, anyway, that's, you know, I didn't say that in the other video that I just deleted, by the way. Um, it, it is in other videos. Um, and, um, I've been, so I'm just, okay, either way, it's a reflection of basically what they're doing. Okay. I have, made a complaint that violent police have um, used Francopolito to basically use my words. I wrote it on their violent police department page, unique things um, that they are basically having other people repeat and they had deleted some of um, my um, the knowledge that I have presented on the violent New Jersey police department page and, um, oh, sorry, I had to get a better grip on my phone. Um, and, which I reported, oh, we're not taking your reports. And I'm like, you know, and I'm trying to emphasize, <sighs> I got to cut that off. <laughs> so, um, so I basically, it, like the a third or fourth report back, I'm reporting, um, whoever manages the Facebook page, um, who are, um, managing that, um, and, um, deleting the, my, um, comments, um, in the Violent New Jersey Police Department, um, who I was last told that it was, uh, Officer, um, Latour, that would be Officer Daniel Latour, Tour, um, and, my my arm is extended like so far out and my arm's hurting. But um who actually tried to block me by the way as soon as he basically was made management over my uh I mean over sorry their Vana Police the page or whatever and tried to basically block my comments. He's first after he I basically had a call and said you can't block me. Um they unblocked me but he started spamming all my comments. That's what he did. So I reported that, and um, he even respams um, m uh, a post of like Martin Luther King or what have you. So now he lets like things, certain few things through, so he could uh, uh, pretend. Oh, what? They're not attacking me now. The thing is, like I said, I don't know. There's other people managing it or not. So. Um, or whatever the case may be, but, um, Latour has been trying to silence me as I reported him, and yes, they refused to take a complaint because he slandered me in a report for correcting him and speaking against his cult abuse or whatever, and, um, so, and saying, as I was sitting there, um, speaking against their cult abuse in their churches, and basically saying, you know, and I said, we are all judges, and I'm allowed to judge, and we are all judgmental beings, and made comparisons, um, and to, like, I have to judge as a parent, teachers make judgments, and, you know, everybody has to make a judgments, and you're either judging rightly or falsely or whatever. So, because I basically um, corrected his irrational delusions, um, he basically slandered me. And I didn't say that at the time. I was very kind to him. And I didn't even think, like, I don't see, think that in a conversation when somebody's in error, um, 
that, oh my gosh, they're delusional or what have you. I actually do that when um, people are abusive to me. Um, so I basically just... Um, uh, after they abuse me, slander me, and basically make sure nobody hears me, um, I'll basically call it out for what it is. So at the time of my encounter, that they're not my thoughts that, oh my gosh, that's irrational and delusional. Okay, so I basically, if somebody's in error, I'll simply correct them and enlighten them and give them some insight or whatever kindly. So, um... So, apparently, what they did is they slandered me. And at a later time, while I'm falsely... They falsely arrested me, had me fingerprinted, and basically had Latour fingerprint me. And I confronted him slandering me in report, calling me irrational. Yeah, for correcting his irrational statements. Okay? Um, which he was refusing to take a report. And I'm like, you refuse to take a report, I'm going to do a video about you. So, he slandered me in a report committing perjury against me, crimes of libel, and slander. Okay, and I reported that, um, obviously, and they didn't take a report. So, um, so, when I confronted him in the police department, um, he said, oh, you said you were a judge. I said, I did not say I was a judge. Now, later, not too, actually not too long ago, and say roughly within the span of like a year, okay, months ago or whatever, um, I wound up writing, or between a year or two, or whatever, it's, I don't know exactly when I wrote it, I wound up writing on the police page that I am a judge. <laughs> so, it won't be a false statement, it's still true, but that's not what I said, um, as to try to pervert my words or whatever. And he has actually, none of these police officers have any right to sit there and write their false opinions and exclude what I said. And that's what they do. And also, Lieutenant Landy is basically um, falsely calling facts and truth um, um, that I have presented an opinion and an assumption for bringing facts. So this is near the end of my um, video. I'm going to have to um, I'm going to have to do a part two. Um, and the thing is, is that. Um, uh, yeah, I took too much time in my video explaining, you know, what they were doing and what my when I was like uh, originally attacked for by these um, church cults and collusion with violent police department. He used them to persecute me, even though they were persecuting me prior. They colluded all together, trying to obscure the word collude, by the way. They even all, uh, contacted Facebook to sit there. Oh, because I, no, collude, I use the word um, co collaborate. And they're trying to, uh, like, formulate the word collaborate. And they actually use prosecutor's office to do that. I'm going to actually do another video about that. Um, and their chaplain... I don't know if he's conscious of it or whatever police are using him to formulate words that I've said. This has been a common thing that's been done in the violent police department and by police or whatever. Because, like I said, like, I mean, said in the past that they were, they have been targeting me or whatever. So they went all around sitting there trying to put out this word target or whatever and try to compare it to me. And I was like, no, I mean, targeted police committing crimes against me. And it has to be in the use of how I say the words, but they think that they have expressed, because they're playing on the word think, because they're making up what I think. I'm speaking against that, and then when I sit there and say what you think or whatever, I'm doing, I'm basically going by what you have thought, basically, an expression to your action, okay? And even though they basically put on a difference to what they think, which I have exposed also, um... They they play this game and then they try to sit there and falsely judge me by it and then they'll lie to their other officers and basically get them to attack me, okay? So I have to do another part on that. I'm gonna to have to end this because it's at almost thirty minutes and I don't want to cut off.